Okay, now we're ready, I hope, to do the bottom. I've got our smooth sailing, anti-fouling, copper Teflon boat bottom paint. Teflon, copper. And I found my old bottle from last year. Uh, it still has some in it. I see most of the copper settled to the bottom. Being a metal, it doesn't stay in suspension very well. That's why it's sold with the copper being separate. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put my gloves on, I think. Well, I'll have one glove on here and open this up. Now I shook the can a little bit before I came on camera because the molecule that's uh, Teflon uh, is fairly big and some of it settles to the bottom so I'm going to uh, make sure I shook it up a bit first. It looks a little creamy but it's going to be clear. There we go. Everything's out of it. Sometimes you can look at the bottom and you'll see a little bit of white paste at the bottom. That's to take your spoon or whatever, spoon it out. A little bit of the material, just like any paint product, some of the heavier elements can settle out if it sits on the shelf a long time. Now, I'm going to put my mask on because this copper is a powder. It can go anywhere. Copper is a metal. It's not really good for you. It's not uh, a heavy metal like cadmium or lead or anything. But it's still not supposed to dissolve very well, so I'm going to put my mask on. Okay, now the copper's in there. Once it's in the liquid, it's no issue, unless we're sanding it. And uh, this is an expensive ingredient. Uh, just the copper itself is about $36 a pound. Then we add the chemicals needed to make it uh, extra slippery. So even the grain of copper itself is slippery. And that's what's gonna help things from sticking. And I'm gonna shake this up. I'm gonna put my thumb on the top so I don't spill it all over. And I got my denatured alcohol. If I find it getting too thick as time goes on, I will uh, I will add some of that.